everyone and welcome back to another video i got a real special one today so today we're going to be learning how to make a view model in roblox studio I originally i made a video about this i think a couple years ago but this is an updated version since that one seemed to break so what we're going to do is go to toolbox and we're going to find a dummy you're going to put that dummy inside of your game and you're going to go inside the dummy Go to the humanoid and change display distance type to none. Then you can delete everything else besides the arms. You're gonna change the dummy's name to view model. And now all you should have inside of it is the humanoid, the humanoid root part, the left arm, and the right arm. So inside of the humanoid root part, you're actually gonna make it transparency one, so that is it is invisible. And then the left arm and the right arm. You can scale them down a bit. I'm just going to make them a bit longer so that you can see them easier. Now once you've done that, you're going to change it into the position that you want it to look like when you play the game. So right now, it'll look like this when I play the game. But I want to have my right arm carrying a lantern. So I'm actually going to rotate my right arm. And so now inside of the game, it'll look more like this. So now I want the player to be holding a lantern, so I'm going to get one from the toolbox. You can do this with a flashlight or with a gun, anything you'd like really. I'm just going to pick a lantern because I think it looks pretty nice. So now I've gotten my lantern model, I'm going to put it inside of my view model. This can be a part or the model, doesn't really matter. Just make sure that it is not a tool because it will break the view model. So now once you've gotten your part or the model, I'm just going to scale it, put it in position, make sure that it looks pretty good. Now inside of the lantern, I'm actually going to add a point light because I want it to shine a little bit so that it has like some sort of effect, you know. And now, the most important part, make sure that everything inside of your view model is anchored. You have to make sure that everything is anchored because if it isn't, then it will completely break. You want to make sure that everything is completely anchored and you also want to make sure that everything is can collide off. So I'm going to check off can collide. Inside of the lantern, I'm going to check off can wide now everything should be anchored then you've got your view model you're just going to put it inside of replicated storage then the next step you're going to go to starter gui and you're going to add a local script and inside of that local script you're going to call it view model script and this is the script for today i'm going to leave it in the description because it is pretty complicated i don't want anyone to mess it up so i'm going to leave it in the description so you're just going to paste it inside of your view model script and here you can change the position of the view model and the angle of the view model in case you need to change it at all and that is pretty much it you're going to close out of it and you're going to click play and now as you can see i have my view model inside my game and of course i can change the angle of it and the position if i want to and that is how to make a view model with roblox studio i hope you enjoyed and if you did leave a like and subscribe it really does help me out a lot i'll see you in the next video Peace out.